Today is September 25th, 2022. I'm here with my 350 Chevy small block naturally aspirated engine that has been converted to running on a hydrogen. It is a dual fuel engine that I can switch from gasoline to hydrogen. But today, after all of the previous videos, today is a very uh, unique test that I want to run this engine up on hydrogen to 4,000 RPM and really put a load to the engine itself, which I haven't ever done before. So it's a little bit critical. Uh, you will see in the beginning, the separator funnel will be draining the gasoline. And once it does, it goes down through the fuel line into the carburetor, will drain the carburetor while it's running. And then when it starts um, changing in the RPMs, I will switch this over to 100% hydrogen. The rest of the uh, gas had, will already drain out. And then I will change the air fuel ratio to mix with a perfect uh, ratio for a uh, high RPM uh, gas um, mix with the hydrogen and air. So this will be a first of a kind uh, test that I have done to really push the limits of see how the hydrogen will flow uh, through the intake the way that I have inside of the intake configured to distribute the fuel throughout the eight cylinders. So let's get started. I'll start up the engine. It'll be running on gasoline first. You'll see it draining. Once it's drained out of the carburetor, then I will give it, I will turn on the hydrogen. Uh, this is the hydrogen tank. There's not a lot of hydrogen left in it. And then I will change the delivery pressure of the hydrogen to go into the hydrogen line. This will follow through the hydrogen line into the control system and distribution system on both sides of the intake manifold. So uh, let's get started on this. We'll turn on the master power coil, fuel, and fan. A couple of pumps of gas. And let's see, let's launch this. Good quick startup. Running at 1500 RPM. Drop that down. 1400 RPM. The gasoline is draining out of the funnel through the fuel line, and I will get ready. I'll turn the hydrogen on uh, from the tank. It's controlled by this pressure valve. I'll get that ready to run because there's really not a lot of hydrogen in there. And hopefully I'll be able to get this run up to like 4,000 4, RPM. Let's see. All right, so the gas is drained out of the funnel. It's now pulling the fuel from the fuel line through the carburetor, just like a conventional internal combustion engine. Once I hear the fluctuation of the RPMs on the engine, I can also see it here on the DAC, then I will start to feed the hydrogen. very well. Still is running on gas. Now there's a fluctuation of the RPM. You can hear it. Starting to drop. Give it some more air. Now it's run out of gas. More air, and now it's matching the, uh, the fuel ratio for the amount of gas. Let's cut back on the hydrogen. There we go. Now it's running on You hear the 
increased RPM. Now the fuel, the gasoline is running out. I've got it up to a high air fuel ratio. Let's pump up in more air. It's at 2200 RPM. 3000 RPM with 100% hydrogen. More air, more hydrogen. It's running smooth. Yes! There's no backfire, which is what I was hoping. Let's push up the threshold. 2800 RPM. Add some more air. Twenty nine hundred. Yes, yeah. three thousand. No backfire at all. I'm running out of hydrogen. A little more air. More hydrogen. Thirty two hundred RPM. Push it. 3,400. This is amazing. This is the first time I've ever been able to do this. Shut it down. Absolutely no backfire at all. Wow, this is definitely one for the books. Thumbs up all around. <laughs>